three there are multiple things here krishna talks about you know for example the four stages in life you know the four stages are you know initially you are as a student you are learning a lot the second stage in life is as a householder the third stage is uh, you know you mature to a certain level it is no more the physical material benefits that matter to you anymore in fact your body actually rejects some of your food that you you would have probably liked all along so that is your third stage in life we start to realize what is going on here there must be some more meaning to life and then comes the fourth stage where you you know you kind of renunciate everything you meditate more you focus on the lord you know and do something good for the rest of the humanity before you pass away so those are the four stages in life and then he talks about the four different kinds of people in our society you know those who are very much focused on the wisdom part of it you know each each one of us has a different combinations percentages of these kind of qualities you know it is not like you are born with that you know it is something you develop into as you grow through the development phases so the, you know there is a first group of people who are more focused on the wisdom and what is good for the entire humanity there is a second group of people they are after money power fame those kind of things and then there is a third kind of people who just want to make some good business make a lot of profit live their life happily and then there is a fourth group of people who who do not want to focus on wisdom and all that money power and all that they just want to serve the society lead a happy life and that is your fourth group of people so none of this krishna says for example you know this is a often misinterpreted uh, principle krishna never said any of this is decided at the time of your birth it is something you develop given the same kind of potential that everyone has how you develop your life is what decides which 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 category you belong to and then krishna talks about you know three major qualities that are part of every human being the first one is called sattva sattva is seeing the good in everything working for the good in this world and then the second one is rajas rajas is the the, the ability to seek power money power you know power and you know more fame things like that are fighting a battle those kind of things rajas and then finally you have uh, the tamas the tamas is the darker side of life you know laziness procrastination eating junk food whatever it is now i am saying a lot of these things you know but these are actually elaborated in a lot of detail in the bhagavad gita krishna takes a lot of time to explain you know what each one of these qualities are about what does a rajasic person what does he do in life similarly what does a sattvic person do what does a tamasic person do what kind of foods they eat it is not that he is trying to categorize or discriminate people he is saying that all these three qualities are there in every one of us depending on which one is the predominant quality that you have that is what qualifies you to become a better human being so that is what he is saying that is the primary message of bhagavad gita and so in that matter it is not enough if you just read bhagavad gita it is not enough if you just know how to chant there is a lot of institutions where it all stops with the chanting if they all chant and uh, you know the job is done unfortunately i disagree with that there is a lot more to bhagavad gita the earlier you expose the child or anyone for that matter to the learnings behind these verses the better they become and they also realize more potential in their life